This is Darshna Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for September 5th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down 0.84 points or 0.20% to 411.64. Total trade volume was down to 82,371 shares changing hands at a total value of 531 million real or 130,000 US dollars. On the main board, three stocks were up. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port led the market up 0.30% or 40 real to 13,540 real per share, followed by Grand Twins International, which was up 0.26% or 10 real to 3,830 real per share. The Sienegville Autonomous Port was also up 0.17% or 20 real to 11,860 real per share. On the downside, MGQ Education was the biggest loser of the day, down 0.49% or 10 real to 2,040 real per share, followed by CAMGSM, which was down 0.41% or 10 real to 2,420 real per share. Other stocks down were Pestec Cambodia and the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority. Meanwhile, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ and Akleda Bank remained flat. Over on the growth board, DBD Engineering was down 0.48% or 10 real to 2,070 real per share, while JS Land remained flat at 3,470 real per share. Akleda Bank once again recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 46,357 shares changing hands at a total value of 346 million real or 84,800 US dollars, making up approximately 56% of September 5th's trade volume. Grand Twins International once again recorded the second highest trade volume of the day with 14,532 shares traded at a total value of 56 million real or 13,670 US dollars, accounting for 17% of Thursday's trade volume. In other market news, Pestec Cambodia has announced that its shareholders voted to approve of Ms. Tan Sochan as a new director of the company. The current composition of Pestec Cambodia's board of directors now consists of five directors, which is in compliance with the company's articles of incorporation. Moving on to the exchange rate, the Khmer real to USD slightly weakened to 4,076 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was down to 101.15. Looking at global commodities, oil prices firmed on Thursdays, edging up from multi-month lows on a possible delay to output increases by OPEC plus producers and a decline in U.S. inventories, though the giants were capped by persisting demand concerns. Figures from the American Petroleum Institute showed U.S. crude oil inventories fell by 7.431 million barrels last week, far exceeding the 1 million barrel draw expected by analysts in a Reuters poll. Brent crude for November rose 42 cents or 0.6% to 73.12 US dollars a barrel after touching its lowest since December on Wednesday. Gold rose after recent data raised bets for a supersized US Federal Reserve interest rate cut this month, but caution ahead of US payrolls data capped further gains. Spot gold advanced 0.5% to 2,506 US dollars per ounce. US gold futures firmed 0.4% to 2,536.10 US dollars. The S&P 500 lost 0.16% to finish at 5,520.07, while the Nasdaq Composite slipped 0.3% to close at 17,084.30. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was the outlier, edging up 38.04 points, or 0.09%, to end at 40,974.97. NVIDIA fell 1.7% following a Bloomberg report that the U.S. Justice Department sent subpoenas to the chipmaker. The move comes after NVIDIA tumbled more than 9% Tuesday amid a broader pullback in semiconductors. This was Darshna Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for September 5th.